Hey guys, this is Mal. If you're listening to this, you are about to hear a super special sneak peek of our latest bonus episode, but fair warning, this is just a sneak peek. Don't hurt us. It's totally optional to subscribe, but if you're interested, you can check out our Patreon by searching Significant Lovers Patreon online. Hope you enjoy. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? Does your memory stray? Well, should we start the yeah the romance? Yes. In what three words would you describe this couple? Well, the couple is Jane Austen. <laughs> yeah. Jane Austen and a man named Tom Lefroy. Ooh, Lefroy. Ooh, Thomas Lefroy. Ooh. He was actually Irish, oh. but descended from French people. Okay. So that's why the last name. I know, I know. I saw the kind of ingredient when I mm-hmm. that. But if I had to describe them in three words, I would say sweet short and fascinating okay <laughs> it is a short very short relationship that's um, kind of like what our PR <laughs> is a PR relationship <laughs> <laughs> well it happened before Pride and Prejudice came out so I don't okay. I don't think so you think it's real <laughs> <laughs> PR for Pride and Prejudice yeah. no <laughs> So, if anyone listening is, like, a big Jane Austen fan, welcome. I know some people, like, dedicate their lives to Jane Austen. Like, you mm-hmm. know, people love her. And so, you know, please forgive me if I leave something out. You know, I am just focusing on her and Tom Lefroy. I don't have, like, her whole life yeah. in here or anything. Yeah. And for this episode, I used a couple things. I used the letters of Jane Austen. It's actually cool. Like, you can read all the letters that exist by her that are still out there someone mm. like put them all on the internet and it's kind of cool you can read her private letters it's cool like she'll just write about things like so so and so came over and like blah 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 and like you don't really know what the context is because you don't know who they are but yeah it's nice it's like reading someone's diary um in a couple articles like one by colleen a sheehan sheehan from the wall street journal um addicted to jane austen.com thank you mm. <laughs> and a couple other places so, yeah, I think that this couple, even if you've, like, never read a Jane Austen book or never even seen the movies, I think this will still be interesting because I think her books have, like, influenced every mm. romance, like, since then, you know? And even, like, Twilight, I feel like is really influenced by her. Like, Pride and Prejudice, I think it's, like, the, oh, he's kind of rude, mm. but you're still interested in him and like the dynamics and like people love Mr. Darcy and Colin Firth and like the movie Clueless is based on Emma and there's so many adaptations of those so yeah I think even if you're not like that familiar with her it could still be interesting so mm. our existing listeners don't don't run away if you don't know Jane Austen. I also think this episode is kind of fun. It's almost like it was reminding me of Taylor Swift in a way. Like in Jane Austen's books, you can see like hints of Tom Lefroy, mm. and, like clues that it's about him, or like she'll put little codes and stuff in her writing. So it was reminding me of the T Swift episode. I'm excited to hear about it. Mm-hmm. Jane Austen is the T Swift of her art era. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. You could say that. You could say that. Okay. Yeah, so in this episode, we're going to be talking about what happened between them, as we always do. All the evidence we have, because there's (laughs) not a lot, (laughs) and how it shows up in her novels, as I said. All right, I will have to stop the episode right there. Thank you so much for listening to the teaser. If you want to hear the full episode and many other bonus episodes, You can find them on Patreon. You can search Significant Lovers on the website or download the Patreon app. It works a lot like regular podcast listening apps. And we have tons of other couples on Patreon to listen to. So thank you so much for listening and supporting the show. And we'll get back together next week.